Welcome to this best practices video focused on unstructured data migration. I'm here with Benjamin Henry, field CTO at Comprise. And in this presentation, we're going to focus on how do I reduce my data footprint prior to migrating? Thanks, Darren. This is one of my most favorite topics to talk about. Um, and I really dive into about being a fiscally responsible data steward. So what do I mean here? Data steward. Well, we as storage admin storage owners, we're typically not the not the owners or the people that generating the data or the applications are responsible for the applications generating the data. We're just merely data stewards. So how do we be fiscally responsible about that? And for me, it starts with the analytics. It moves on to defining your goals and your in your cold data strategy. And then number three is after you run with the with your cold data strategy, it's reporting on the data savings to your leadership so you can show that savings and being fiscally responsible. All right, with that, let's actually dive in here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here we talked about uh, the analytics and that's where it all starts. So for me, it's the data donut. This is my heat map. The colder the data is, the bluer it is. The hotter the data, the redder it is. So down here, I've got my, my map to what each one of these pieces of the pie represent. Red is less than one month. Blue, the coldest blue, is more than three years and everything in between. And if I wanna know how much of my data falls into each one of these slices of, of the, the data donut here, all I have to do is hover over it. And it'll tell me from a percentage standpoint, from a quantity of files, from a size perspective, where all this data lies in this data donut. All right, something we talked about in our last video was the usage of my data. So it's worth revisiting again because it's about the analytics. So we talked about how hot or cold the data is, that heat map carries over into this slide. And I like to switch this to the quantity of files. So once again, I can see from a quantity of files, the number, the, the highest number of files I have to migrate here is, is in a category of video, then archive, then log, then document, so on and so forth. All right, let's come down and again, look at the size of my data. So the biggest consumer from a file count perspective is data that falls into the 10K to one megabyte range. We can go into the owner of the files, the, the, the groups that are, have access to the files. We talk about the top directories, but then it talks about the files by top shares. Okay, so let's go up. And again, we can talk about the analysis activity. We see the number of directories, the average files per directory, the average size of the directories, the file counts, the average size of the files, so on and so forth. Again, a lot of this was talked about in our last video. So. We're back to the heat map again. How do I report on this? How do I get? How do I start getting people's attention in my organization? Well, for me, it's always about the cost. So let's jump over. We have a showback report. In the showback report, you come over here, you select the number of shares, you hit generate. Over here is the output of that report. So in total, we've got just shy of 1.1 petabytes at this site. And using industry standard numbers, this is costing the organization about $1.7 million per year for the storage cost, the backup, everything else all involved is about 1.7, almost $1.8 million a year. I get my heat map in here and there's graphs I showed you earlier get included into this, this executive. I refer to this as an executive level report because this is something I can send to leadership, to the executive team to say, hey, this is how much this is costing us. And by the way, over here is how much data of the one point, almost 1.1 petabyte hasn't been accessed in one year or more. So what if we can reduce our data footprint, our storage costs by almost or over 50%? That should immediately invoke a reaction from the team to say, wow, how much are we spending? We can cut that bill in half. Fantastic. Let's do it. So how do we do that? Let's jump back over here to our plan tab. In my plan tab, I have my plan editor and I have my group. So in this site, I'm gonna call my first group corp for corporate. I'm gonna define my shares, my file servers, what's being included. Well, I'm gonna choose the corporate file servers. From there, I wanna activate a move, meaning I want to do, I wanna tier or archive my data. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna use an age-based policy. There are advanced ways to tier and archive your data through deep analytics queries, and we'll save that for another short video. I'm gonna move this slider over to one year. I'm gonna look at my exclusions, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ignore anything that is equal to or less than 128K. 
a lot of cloud storage vendors, when you use certain tiers of storage, will charge you a little bit differently for small files. So for by default, I'm going to exclude those. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose my, my target. In this case, my tiering target, I'm going to go to AWS. All right. So we'll see a little purple inner bar here started to, to appear. This is saying, based on my criteria that I've selected over here, this is about how much data is going to be tiered or archived. Now, there's a little bit of piece that's missing here because this data either is being excluded or hasn't quite aged out to where I need it to for it to qualify. So that's an estimate of what's going to be tiered. Let me save this real quick. All right, so I've saved this. I have a preview of what's going to happen. I have an idea of what my savings or my, for my storage footprint is going to look like. Now, what do I do with it? How do I start this? Simply come over here, activate, and say continue. At this point, it's going gonna, it's gonna to validate my selection criteria, and it's going to start tiering and archiving my data. All right, so what do I do now? Let's say I'm 24 hours down the road, and leadership says, hey, fantastic. You've started that plan. How much have we saved? That's easy. All you do is come back here, regenerate this report, and what you will see is a little purple bar below each one of these that shows you how much data has been tiered from each one of these categories. You'll see this tiered data quantity go up and you'll see your cost after tiering also being represented by a reduction from the cost before tiering. All right, Darren, that was a fast intro to how do I actually save on my data footprint before I migrate my data. Fantastic, Benjamin, thank you. In our next video, we're gonna get into setting up your data migration. So now we've focused on planning, we've covered how to really optimize and reduce your footprint, and now we're gonna get going with uh, the migration. Thanks for this overview, look forward to the next video. Thank you.